A virtual visit with a Florida Highway Patrol trooper. You no longer need to have a trooper physically show up for a crash where no one was seriously hurt. News 6 is Mark Lehman has more on the new program just approved. I'm in all those in favor state by saying aye. 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 The Central Florida Expressway Authority is giving the green light to a plan allowing troopers to investigate some crashes while not physically responding to where it happened. It's using uh, technology to allow our troopers to work a crash via, via a smartphone. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Brown says it's called the FHP desk trooper concept. The idea, he says, comes out of necessity. Florida ranks last in the country with only nine troopers to every 100,000 people, and that can lead to slow response times. The Orlando area, it, it can be anywhere from 30 minutes on a good day to multiple hours on a bad day. The pilot program will provide two remote desk troopers during peak rush hour times. They would send a link to a driver's smartphone. Everyone involved would need to agree to participate and the crash has to be minor. No injuries. Uh, the vehicles don't need to be towed. There's no commercial motor vehicle involved. There's no criminal violations. So here's how this program works. Once there's consent, a trooper will use a person's camera phone to talk virtually to everyone involved. They'll then use the phone to take a closer look at all of the vehicles inspecting the damage like we have here from a previous fender bender. The trooper will use that information to write up their report and clear the crash scene within a matter of minutes. We're hoping summer uh, that we're going to do this so we have some time to let the public know that it's coming. Brown says FHP will now work to spread awareness of the program and while staff is still needed, he says this will be a big help in allowing troopers to respond to other places. By doing this, we can free up someone's day. Uh, by 30 minutes, an hour, sometimes three hours. You know, I think that's really the goal. In Orlando, Mark Lehman getting results. News 6.